what you're talking about, Rowdy, as far as the Americans are concerned, and that's make a big impact. They have a chance for two medals here, and they got a good chance to win gold. As you look at Hunter Armstrong, indicated there as the world record holder, out comes New Zealand's Andrew Jeffcoat with quite the hat, I must say. He's out there in lane eight, swimming for New Zealand, the national record holder for his country. There is Thomas Chacon. Gold in the 50 fly and silver in the 100 back for Italy here. But this is his final swim of the meet because the Italians surprisingly did not final in the medley relay later. They were going to defend their title. There is Greece's Apostolos Cristo, fifth last year in the 50 and the 100 back. Cristo swimming in lane two. Out comes Severi Masuk, 18 year old from Poland. Bronze last year, he's the youngest in the field. And it's been 16 years since Poland has had a world champion. As you look at Hunter Armstrong, you saw him as the world record holder three days ago at a meet in Russia. Clement Kaleshnikov went 23.55, which broke Hunter's world record. That record should be ratified shortly, but it's not quite official on the books. There is Xu Jiayu of China in lane five, back-to-back -back world champion in 2017 and 2019 in the 100. He's one of the veterans here at age 27. And there is Justin Rest, the defending champion, but not without drama. His teammate Armstrong initially got the gold at the last Worlds in a ceremony, but was later disqualified when officials confirmed he was fully submerged at the finish, so Rest was then awarded gold at a separate ceremony. That's a whole nother story in its own right. Suffice to say, you've got the gold medalist and the silver medalist both from the United States next to each other in lanes three and four. Rowdy, how do you break this dash at the 50 back down? As you said right at the start, Dan, this is an important one. The very first event of the night for the United States. They should, they should go one, two. There's no question about it. They are the first and third fastest swimmers in history. Rest went 24-1 in the heats. That might just win it. Armstrong is one of only three to ever break 24 seconds. They have everything going for them in this 50. Rest, the number one qualifier, the defending champ in lane four, trying to become the third swimmer to ever go back to back and the first American to pull that off. Above him is Armstrong in lane three. Take your marks. Uh, better start there. Much better reaction for Ress and Armstrong. That's exactly what Ress needed, 0.59. I thought if he was under 0.60, he may have a chance. But that Chinese shoe right there is swimming well. There goes Ress. New GU, but up above him is Justin Ress. Also Hunter Armstrong looking good. I think they're going to go one, two, the Americans in lanes three and four. And they do. Armstrong with the gold, Ress with the silver. What a start to this final night for the American swimmers. Exactly what the doctor ordered. I you, you couldn't script it better for Team USA to start off this dramatic, most important last night, Dan. Boy, Shu looked awfully good early on, and a lot of it was because of that start. He's point by five, quickest off the blocks of anybody. So that gave him that advantage the first 20 meters or so. There's Shu right there. He's got that good start. But right above him, the two Americans did. They were fine. No problem. Armstrong was actually the slowest of anybody at .62, but he'll take it with that big old long frame of his because once he gets going, man, he's like a freight train coming into the wall. One more look at that start. Very important to kind of coil or hinge up slightly. Then they both react and carry that maximum speed up and over the water. And that's what, what they needed. Carry some momentum. Momentum, momentum, momentum. That's the key word for tonight for Team USA, and that's a nice job for both these guys. And it's, uh, I think there's a big sigh of relief over there in the Team US section, because that's the way they wanted to start. Red, white, and blue off and running. There is Hunter Armstrong, just above rest, 
suddenly Armstrong has made a huge impact at these worlds. He took bronze in the 100 back here, and now he's got his first individual gold medal, and it starts the night off for the U.S. that needed a boost in the gold medal department as we just showed you the medal standings. So it's Armstrong and Ress 1-2. China's Xu Jiayu with the bronze. Hunter Armstrong with a couple of individual medals here, teaming up with Justin Ross, Re Justin Restico, 1 2 in the men's 50 back. And Kira K. Dixon is with the gold and silver medalists. All right, congrats, guys. 1 and 2 last year, now 1 and 2 this year. Hunter, you had such a huge reaction there when you came up and saw that you'd won the gold medal. Uh, describe that huge reaction. Um, I mean, it's always great to get a 1-2 and to keep the, the 50 back within the United States, but uh, no, that was a very difficult meet for me, uh, didn't start off the best, so I learned a lot and I'm glad I was able to get this one done. Good job. We're getting some congratulations from Thomas Chacon as well. Uh, Justin, for you, this is a long meet, you were able to race on the first day in a relay and you had to wait all week. Uh, to get to race again. How, what is it like managing such a long meet like that in between races? I mean, I work all year. I'm being able to race under any circumstance, ready to get up at any time of the week. So it's really just about staying strong mentally, having fun, staying relaxed, not working yourself up too much about it. This is good. And Hunter, how important is this one-two finish in terms of momentum for Team USA, especially as we start looking at Paris in 12 months? It is tremendous uh, momentum for Paris. I mean, we, uh, we definitely build throughout the meet. I think that's something USA does really well, is we start off strong and we finish stronger. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to Paris. Certainly a strong finish. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.